Hey, so I've got a number of questions on how the platform, moving platform logic in Super Sunny World works. So I just kind of wanted to walk through it, show it how it works. It's, it's one of the more complicated parts of most platforming games, but uh, the implementation I do is actually pretty simple once you kind of see how it works. So yeah, I'll just walk through that real quick. Uh, let me hide these extra ones to start. So let's do vertical first. It, it happens in a few phases. So the first thing that happens is the player moves. So um, they can go left, right with their normal movement. They can go up, down uh, with gravity. So let's just assume they're kind of sitting still and gravity applies. So first thing that happens, we apply gravity to the player. They move down a few pixels, let's say. And then um, in addition to the normal uh, player collision, like hitting floors, stuff like that, I have some additional collision that says also collide with moving platforms. So I treat them essentially like uh, solid tiles in the world, but they can move. So the exact same logic that stops you from falling through the floor stops you from falling through a platform. So right away, it detects that I'm touching this platform and moves me up to the top of it. So I'm standing on the platform. So that's phase one. We essentially end up exactly where we started. The second phase is the platform update. So this is maybe the more interesting part is the first thing the platform does is it detects which objects are touching it at the start of the frame. So in this case, it detects that the player is touching it, and it's going to remember that. That'll come into play in a second. So next thing it does is apply its movement code. So let's just assume the platform moves downwards every frame by 10 pixels. So it moves down 10 pixels. It then grabs that list of objects that are touching it and moves those objects by the exact same amount that it moved. In this case, 10 pixels. So it'll move the player down 10 pixels. And so that essentially locks the player to the platform. But at the same time, the player's movement, if you remember at the start of the frame, is not limited to, it's not locked to the platform. It can move freely, it can jump, it can move left and right, it can hit walls, stuff like that. That's all running the normal logic. Uh, but the platform is what pulls it down and keeps it locked to it if it's actually connected. Um, and so one of the questions was, does the order matter? So now let's assume instead of updating the player first, we update the platform first. So um, platforms detects who's touching it. So it detects the player touching it. It then does its movement code. It says move down 10 pixels, then pull the thing that was touching me down 10 pixels. And then that's the end of the platform update. Then the player update happens second in this scenario. So we apply gravity, it says, oh, I'm colliding with this floor, which is a moving platform, and pushes it back up. So it works out exactly the same. Um, left and right platforms are exactly the same. So you can see that the order doesn't matter. Um, left and right platforms are the same. So the platform, well, player moves, jumps, whatever, but in the end, it's he's fall, or she's falling through and colliding with the platform. Uh, so then pop her up. To the top of the platform and then the platform update happens so it detects okay at the start of this update the player was touching me so it remembers that and then it moves it over it can move any amount we want say so it's a super fast moving platform it moves 100 pixels and says okay grab that object that was touching me and move it the exact same amount which is 100 pixels oops try that again 100 pixels and then the player moves 100 pixels as well and basically, that essentially means it keeps the exact same relative position. So this also works for diagonals if I wanted. So in this case, let's say, let's put it right on the edge of this to start with. So let's say this platform moves uh, 30 by 30. And then you'll see when the player update happens, or sorry, when we move the player the same relative amount, it ends up at 30, 30 as well. And then the cool part is um, if the player decides to jump, she's no longer colliding with the platform, platform moves down, and nothing happens because at the start of the frame, the player was no longer colliding with the platform. But eventually she'll come down, she'll collide with it, get popped back up. And when the platform does its update to move in some other location, the player will get moved to the exact same amount. And that's basically how platforms work in Super Sunny World. Thanks for watching.